we have a gun cabinet in the office, actually. Uh, and the gun cabinet was used to store all the World War II, World War I weapons that we have that we use as reference models. Here's our little toy chest of reference weapons. Um, when we were doing Turning Point, we wanted to uh, make sure that all the weapon designs were based in uh, or based on authentic weapons of the time and kind of how they would be developed over the next 10 years when Germany was getting influences from the Eastern Front, like with this Mosin Nagant. Uh, this is a, a Russian rifle, but we used like you know bits and pieces of this um, when we were designing the new German infantry rifle. This is the M1 Garand. Um, you don't want to get your finger in there, you get what's called M1 thumb. The German weapons that we were designing, of course, had to be uh, newer advanced technology. This is the old version of their infantry weapon, the Carbiner 98. So when we were redesigning this, we took some influences from the Eastern Front, some of the semi-automatic weapons that the Russians were using, the STVs, and as well as some of the stuff that they had already done with their semi-auto rifle, the Gur 41. And so the new weapon in, in Turning Point is actually not a bolt action anymore, but it's a full semi-auto infantry weapon that rivals the uh, M1 Garand. It has a few more weapons in the magazine, but it's semi-auto and is more advanced.